Hi, my name is Timo Helmers and today I'm going to show you how to integrate live streaming into Unreal Engine 4 using RTMP or RTSP. For that we're just going to create a new project using this exact version of the Unreal Engine. I'm going to create a new project, blank. I'm going to name it RTSP underscore test on here. Okay, let's go create project. All right. Now that we have our project, I'm just going to right click on this folder and show it in my explorer and go up one, no, two levels right here where I can see the U project file. And here I'm going to create a plugin folder, plugins. Go in there and now I'm going over to my downloads folder, copying this repository that I downloaded from GitHub over here, extracting it here, and I can go ahead and delete this zip file. This should pretty much be it. Now I'm going to play here. Oh no, I mean um, standalone game, just to get this message here, missing RTSP test modules. Um, and basically telling me that VLC Media Editor Factory and so on is um, going to be rebuilt right now. And now we can see that the standalone application is loading up just fine. So we know that everything must be working. I'm going to exit out of here and quickly go and relaunch my engine, my project right here by closing it completely and then just opening up the project again. So now I should be able to see the plugin I just installed down here. Media players. The VLC media player is now enabled and that means I can use it to stream content to Unreal Engine 4. <clears throat> so the next step is going to be setting up the media player. And for that, I'm heading over here into content, uh, creating a new folder, and I'm going to name that uh, media. Then over here, uh, re right click and select media, media, stream media source. There we go. Stream media source. I can just keep the name, doesn't really matter. And I can go in here and there you would have player overrides. Right here, since I'm on Windows, I'm going to select not automatic, but video LAN player. And this only shows up if you have the plugin installed. All right, and now that I have this part covered, I can just go and get my RTMP address and paste it in here. Click Save. And I'm good for now. And this address is something I got from an Android app that I'm using called VXG RTSP Server IP Camera, uh, which is going to allow me to just quickly test the live streaming capabilities of my little level here. Going back to Unreal Engine, I'm creating a media player and a video output media texture asset right along with it. So I'm going to check this box here and hit OK. It wants me to name it, so I'm just going to go ahead and say my player <laughs> because that's what the tutorials usually do. Now I can go ahead and create a plane. Pr plane in here. Flip that over and get my texture onto there, which is going to create a new material. And, all right. Now for the media player. This will allow me to access my live stream. And I think we're going to do that right now. So I'm just clicking here to see if my live stream is already being received. And yeah, there we can see that we can <laughs> there you can see me. I mean, <laughs> with a little bit of a delay. All right. 
Good. Now that I have this covered, I can just close that down real quick. And oh yeah, <laughs> when the media player is active, it's another thing I should show. Then in the background, you should already see um, the texture. Oh, and it's upside down. So let me just go ahead and flip that around. 180 degrees. X axis should be 1.6 for now. Uh, I'm going to make Y 0 0.9 for the nice aspect ratio of 16 by 9. It's that easy. But I'm not done here just yet. If we had play right now, it's not going to work the way I want it to. There's uh, nothing showing up. So to change that, I'm going to open up the level blueprint, add a new variable that I'm going to call media player of the object reference type uh, media player. So instead of boolean, I'm going to change it to media player over here. All said and done. Now all that's left to do is actually assign the media player that I want to use over here by just dragging and dropping it into this place here. And then I can hold control and drag it into my blueprint. All right. I can drag it out here and select open source. And my new stream media source as the media source. I'm going to start that by just a begin play event. Event begin play. There we go. Save that real quick. And now when I start the, the level, when I start the play button, then you should be able to see the live stream in the background. Oh yeah, and that's, that's working just fine. All right, and now for one more step, since this doesn't have an in-game audio source just yet, I'm going to add a component and look for media sound. Just assign my media player here, and that should cover everything. Let's play again and see if it works. And okay. Now, as expected, I should be getting sound in-game at the right position. Alright then, this should cover everything I wanted to say. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and bye!